welcome to another video and a community that believes weird is wonderful and cats are real <laughs> and magic is real and a video to follow up our Michaels hunt although this is not just going to be a Michaels situation we are hauling all of the Harry Potter inspired spooky Halloweeny goods and we've got well we went back to Joanne um because I feel like they dropped it like it's hot this year we've got Michaels what else is there? What is this place? TJ Maxx and there was one more. Where it, where it be at? Oh, Home Goods. So those are all the places that we've got. I will say those two places they only dropped a little bit so far, and I'm kind of undecided if we include them in a video, mostly because and we mentioned this in the Michaels one. They are just really, really hit or miss for me as far as like what I would include and pick up for a Harry Potter Halloween or just in general, okay? So we want to provide you with the goods. So if it is something you're interested in, let me know. Maybe it's a combination video. Let me know if my cat's meowing. It gets annoying. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with Joanne. We have a lot from Joanne and I will say, so I share with you guys whenever I'm out and about and I see fun things or weird things in the Discord group and I was doing that and I was at Joanne sharing some photos and saying that I am back yet again for more stuff. And I got the sweetest little surprise from Miss Kristen of a little gift card to Joanne. It was so thoughtful, so I just want to say thank you so much. I know I've already said thank you, but we are going to do it publicly because it meant so much to me and it made me just have all the more fun at Joanne. So let's get going. Okay, so first up, I went back there because there were a few things that I kind of regretted not getting. Like when I look back at the footage, well, I'll not look back because I watch it through before it goes out to you guys to make sure there's no craziness, just the right regular level of craziness. Um, and one of the things I wanted to get, actually one of you guys got it after watching my video, which were the storage book boxes. Um, I, I don't know. I just felt like I, I have seen better made book boxes, but I still really dug these. And as I showed you in that kind of Joanne Halloween hunt, they do really fit into a Harry Potter Halloween. So the two that I got, I only got two. There are three four available. So there was a third one that was potions. And then there's a fourth one that's even bigger that is like moons or moon phases or something. I didn't really dig the moon one. Um, and we decided against the potion one mainly because of the woman on the front. It was like a, it, it can work for like a witchy home for sure. Um, so the two that we went with are these two right here. So first up is a guide to comparative creature anatomy. So it's got this little like illustration of the skeletalness. The skeleton of a frog. I feel like skeletons, I mean, in general, you take the, the meat away from something and it just ups the creep factor. But this is where it kind of becomes a book box. So it is actually a box. We'll open it up, but it has the look of a book on the outside. So this is the outside. Obviously, like standing it up, um, you'd be able to read it, but you can also set it any way you would set a book. Um, and then the back is just kind of plain. And these are really affordable. This one is $12.99. Everything was, I think, 40% off when I went back. And then there was a coupon on top of that. So pretty cheap. Then you open it up and it is a storage box. Um, I will say all of these have this same pattern here. If you do remember this pattern, I picked up a couple items with it. I liked it so much. Um, but I do wish, and he kind of pointed this out, that maybe it kind of continued with what the exterior is. So something with creature anatomy, and they could have done that because they have uh, one of the larger storage boxes, like the Dementor one that I got, where they had a creature anatomy version of it, kind of like the popcorn bowl that I showed you with all the little skeletons of different creatures. So I feel like they already had something in existence that they could have done on the inside, but I don't hate this. And basically I just thought this was a simple kind of fancy way to, almost to stack one on top of the other and have stuff in it. It's storage. So fancier storage. I love it. And then the other one is Deadly Curses, Words to Maim and Disarm. Um, I feel like that works in Harry Potter. So we've got a skull on here. It's a nice burgundy, almost Gryffindory color with a spider web in the background. And then the spine, this one is actually more pronounced in the name. Like you'll be able to read that from far away. 
Um, and I didn't point out, but this, the edges, they kind of have a pages look. They didn't really go hard on the detail with that one, but it's fine enough for the price that it is. And then the back of it is the similar color with the spider webs. And just like the other one, it's got that same inside. So it could have been cool with, um, I mean, actually this one works a bit better because it's got a bunch of spider webs inside, but maybe with some skulls, but I feel like stacked on top, like, and then having maybe something on top of that, you almost wouldn't notice that these are cardboard. I feel like for the price, why not? And then the other storage box that I got, I, when I was at Joanne doing the Halloween hunt, there were a couple of ladies I was chatting with um, about the channel, about Halloween. It was a really good conversation, but I was filming too. And there was this one storage box left that I really was like, that's really pretty. I really want it. It would fit into a Harry Potter house even. And one of them snagged it and I was really happy for her. So I was like, no big deal. Like, but Joanne isn't always great at stocking stuff, but they did. I went back and they had stocked up all the storage boxes. And the one that I wanted is this palmistry hand. Like, okay, I just love it from every angle. So from the side, we've got these creepy eyes, the seeing eye over and over again. But this storage box is different. It's what I really liked about it. I like the handle. I like that the shape is different. Um, and then I like that real pop of the palmistry hand. And there's a bit of like a holographic nature. I tried to show it when we were at the store, like the nails. And it looks like the stars on the outside of it. And even the base has that repeating pattern. Um, how much was this one? $19.99 plus the percent off, yada, yada, yada. I will link everything down below. But we take the lid off and it's got stars on the inside, like a galaxy look. I don't know. It's probably become one of my favorite storage boxes. I've actually never seen them come out with a shape like this, with handles like this, which makes it really easy. Um, do I know what I'm gonna store in it? No, but I feel like I'm kind of leaning towards clothing even. Like I just want this, like this is all year round for me, a lot of this stuff. But that is the last storage box, but it's not the last of Joanne. Next up is an item that I have wanted and I have mentioned in so many videos. I think it's only been like two videos so far, both going out previously, also in the Discord group. And I had not yet gotten permission. I will say I did get a comment about using the word permission. Please know I have an excellent relationship here and he keeps our finances in check. So that's why I go and check in and make sure it's okay for me to get something. Um, I get a say too. So just saying that. Um, most of the time my say actually is uh, it happens. I get what I want. Would you agree? <laughs> but the item that I got, are you ready? Da -da -da. Hopefully I don't knock anything over. I got the cauldron, you guys. I got the cauldron. He told me he still doesn't like it. I don't understand why he doesn't like it. I mean, I did mention in the Michaels video that if ever I have the option of any kind of like material I would want the cauldron to be made out of that I have, I would absolutely prefer cast iron, but it is a little hard to come by. We only have one cast iron cauldron. We got it from Target last year. I'm hoping that they come out with more in like various sizes or just anywhere else. Um, so ceramic is the next best thing in my opinion. And that's what this is. Like it is still quality made material, but I really liked it. It is similar to it's kind of similar to the Michaels ones, which I already have, and we showed you those. Um, but I just like the shape of this one a bit more. I'm kind of contemplating having it in the back. I want to change out the theme once we really get deep into spooky season. I don't know. Let me know. Like, put my demi guys in there, have them coming out or something. Um, but I got it. It's And it's pretty large in size, but it was mostly the shape that I really liked. You cannot have enough cauldrons. Full stop, okay? Okay, so the other two items I went back for, I'm not always a fan of their framed prints, but something about these, I wanted to go back. I was specifically going back for the storage boxes and these prints, because um, I felt like, like, look, you don't have to have all Harry Potter prints everywhere for it to feel Harry Potter. Like, especially during Halloween season when we decorate, I really aim for like a Borgen and Burks vibe. And the one thing that always stands out to me feeling very Borgen and Burksy as far as like um, an iconic image would be a skull. And I felt like this just gave me the Borgen and Burks vibe. Hopefully the reflection is fine. It is this skull print. So the actual print itself behind it is a canvas material and it is a shadow box. So it's a shadow box frame. It has a little bit of that depth in between, but I liked the like brown 
kind of color. I feel like that can go really anywhere in the house. And the skull is sitting on some books. And then it's got this like skull frame trim. It's like a repeating skull uh, or a bunch of skulls all the way around the trim. And it's a pretty decent size. I haven't decided yet where it would go. It would be cool if like one year we just swapped everything out up here to be really spooky. We will be redoing this room like just in general and it will probably house a collection of some kind Harry Potter wise. But um, as it is prints now, that would be cool and then change it out during Christmas time. I don't know. So this would fill in one of those spots pretty easily. But I would love like a collage, especially during spooky season. Um, that is more of those black frames, darker prints, like um, that natural brown color. So because it's such a basic classic image, I just felt like that could fit into a Harry Potter Halloween. The next item I did show you guys in that Joanne Halloween hunt. Yes, we've got two more items from Joanne. It is this frame right here. So it's like kind of a spooky house for me. I would say a little bit of Malfoy Manor. Obviously, it's not a, a full-on mansion, and I do imagine Malfoy Manor to be a bit lighter, like, you know, more mansion-y, so you can even go, like, Shrieking Shack with this. It's so generic, like, it's just a dilapidated house um, that I feel like it could fit into Godric's Hollow, even. Like, just use your imagination, and it's got that same, like, brown color throughout the whole thing, that natural brown. It gives it a nice spooky vibe. Um, so let me just give you that some spooky little trees and it is that sort of like, I don't know, what is the word I'm looking at? Like a Victorian kind of frame. I'm hoping to get a lot more of that, especially during Halloween season. And especially if we do a gallery wall, gallery, a gallery wall at some point. Um, so here is kind of like a close up of that frame and then spooky trees. Spooky house. I like the lights. I love yellow in prints. Like I love light in prints. I will not wear yellow <laughs> ever. And I love the moon in the corner. Um, one thing that this one does is it does light up. So let me do it. I don't know if you saw that. It's, a, it's like these really small, just round dots of light in kind of random spots, especially up here. I will not be utilizing the light, but I do feel like this would fit perfectly in one of my bathrooms just to make that a little bit spookier. I don't know. But yeah, that is the second to last item at Joanne. The last item at Joanne, um, my husband's also not a fan of. I can't explain why I like it. Um, I just can't explain. We'll leave it at that because I do agree. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but I feel like when you're getting kind of spooky, maybe it gives me poltergeist vibes. I don't know if like things coming out of like a TV or something, but they had a whole bunch of these like round ornate frames with stuff like either smack in the center or kind of like protruding out of it. And the one that I got is this one right here. Again, skulls just give me like a Borgen and Burks vibe and there's a whole bunch of them here. So it has this like brown in between. It's almost like a mossy kind of feel to it. It's just a disgusting vibe. Like, and that's what we aim for during Halloween season. But you can see it's elevated. They are protruding. They're coming out. Like, they're not the size of an actual head, which makes it even creepier. I don't know. I can't explain why I like it. Um, but I feel like, I don't know, again, I don't know where it's going to go. Most of the time when I get stuff, I like to think I know where it's going to go, but I might also take it to the muggle job. I don't know, but that is the last item from Joanne. Let's do Michael's. So I did not get a lot at Michael's. Personally, I know some people were more impressed with Michael's. I feel like once you eliminate that whole front section, it's normally in the front of the colorful um, line of the Lemax collection, because there's not really anything Lemax wise other than the graveyard that I guys, I, I, guys, I, I showed you guys. Um, there's not really anything that I would use for a Harry Potter Halloween or Halloween in general. So it was the main section that I was waiting for them to drop that I showed you, the darker, witchier section. And there were cool things in there. And I did get some stuff, but it just wasn't nearly as much as Joanne that I was like, I have to have this, um, especially in the decor area. So the one section that I knew about at Michael's that I had a feeling I was probably gonna get some things was the miniature section. And again, I don't fully know what I'm gonna do with it, but I couldn't pass it up. So I got four of the miniatures. I might go back and get more and I might get some duplicates. But the one I had to have and showed you guys is this Skelligrow looking miniature potion. 
like what? And then we've got a couple other ones. What does this say? I think it says toxic and it's a little skull, but they all have little caps on them. So let me take it out so I can show you up close. So here is the Skelligro Potion. I, I mean, it doesn't get any closer really to looking like the actual Skelligro Potion. As far as a miniature where you can only do so much detail and at the price point that they have, um, other than it says poison on the bottom, the back is also quite similar. And where my head is going with this, is I don't think it's really appropriate. I think I said this, that I was gonna put it on a Skelligro potion. Um, I don't feel like it, that, that would be too repetitive. I feel like maybe instead it would hook on to a potion ingredient that would go into Skelligro. I don't know, um, but I would love to DIY that at some point. We will get into potions. I just want them to, you know, be perfect, okay? And then um, the last two in that set, we've got this little skull and this one right here. These also could work. Like maybe we don't want the exact thing um, since it would be an ingredient, but it gives off the vibe. So I kind of like that there are options. And then what else did we get? We got these three right here. So we've got an owl, a cloche, and a bunch of skulls. Let me give you the deets up close. So first up is this little barn owl. It seems like a barn owl, but it's like a light um, beigey brown situation. I feel like out of all the paint jobs, this one wasn't too bad. And I like that it's on like a little pole. So we could put it out with our Department 56 village and have it kind of sticking up somewhere. Um, it feels like the appropriate size. So I thought, why not? Cause it, what was the price? 6.99, 40% off. These are pretty cheap items. So he was just saying we could also take it, repaint it. You're talking about the podium, right? and basically turn it into Dumbledore's podium because it has the base already with the owl. I hadn't thought about that. We could do that. There's a lot of options with these cloches, cloches? with these miniatures. Speaking of cloches, I think this is even nicer now seeing it out of the plastic. So we've got this little cloche. I would like to get more cloches. I have a few, but I want to get some with a black base, maybe elevated. Um, but this one's got a little book in there and then a stack of books with a skeleton. And then we've got a little potion and like a little crow on the side there, super cute. And then we have this stack of skeletons. I mentioned for some reason, it just gives me vibes from um, Hogwarts Legacy, particularly when we're fighting the skulls and we had to like stack them or they were already in a pile and we had to pull them out and put them in a certain spot. Um, and I feel like this could easily go into like a Department 56 village that we're making a little bit more spooky. I did want to pick up some like little jack-o'-lanterns, little pumpkins to go next to things because um, I may have already gotten another Department 56 item that these would go perfectly with. Um, but yeah, that is the last of the miniatures. And then the last item that I got, like I said, I really didn't get a lot at Michael's, is a wreath. She is a glittery one, so I'm gonna be a little careful here. Um, we already have one base, like black wreath that we could do something cool with. It's just the base. It's also glittery. I think we might've gotten it at Michael's. And then in previous years, we have done our own, like made from scratch, a Deathly Hollows wreath. But I thought maybe we could do something different. Also, maybe we could just have a wreath on the inside, like hanging off a door. It doesn't have to be outside on our main door. So we picked up that black moon, crescent moon wreath that I showed you guys. There was that whole section of wreaths and picks and kind of ivy and stuff like that that you can use for your wreaths. And we picked this one up here. So you could see that it has that little like opening right here. Here, let me show you the glittery situation. I probably won't be showing that off, but I like that the base is black because I'm probably gonna go for like earthy. I'm gonna go for some black twigs, I think, and a little bit of maybe moss. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I could have picked up some things like that for this there, but I needed to percolate a little bit. So if you have any ideas, let me know. If you do a wreath for Halloween, let me know. Last two items, one is from Home Goods and one is from TJ Maxx. So this one from Home Goods, she's about to get real noisy. There wasn't really anything else that I saw there. I shared a photo, I think, in, dis in the Discord group of just the kind of stuff that I normally see, although maybe that was TJ Maxx, I don't know. Because like I said, it's really very hit or miss, but I, I don't feel like you should skip out on it either because you can find some things that would really fit in. So the item that I got, I'm going to pick it up first so you don't have to hear the noisiness. I got myself a chain. Now we have a few chains. I probably shouldn't hold it this way. We have a few chains uh, previously from like 
I think like Spirit Halloween. I think we got some from the Dollar Store or Dollar General. I otherwise don't really find anything at Dollar General. It's a lot of crap, okay. Um, but you guys know this from like our subscription boxes, from really anything that we do, that if we can go for a more higher quality material, a more natural material, we will because it feels more realistic. Um, and it's just better quality. Well, this is actual metal. Um, I was not expecting to find a chain at Home Goods, but I did. So here it is up close, as you could tell, that is metal. It has a coating over top, so this isn't just that kind of typical silver look that you would see, um, but I kind of like the black. It's a very matte black look, and we tend to drape it in places, but we could put it outside. I think it can hold up okay, but I picked up, it's not that long, you can see, I picked up two of these. Um, how can you not? Like we've gone for things that also fit into like Azkaban vibes, just anything that you think that is dark. And honestly, Harry Potter gets dark fairly early. I mean, what, book three? Well, really book four. Yeah, I guess it's book four is the real, like first death. Um, but that's, you know, four, five, six, seven. So more than not dark, I'm <laughs> just saying for a, a, a happy, heroic story. Um, but there are a lot of things to pull from. There's the Forbidden Forest. We can get into that when we do, maybe we'll do a video that's like, hey, here are the ideas I'm thinking about for a Harry Potter Halloween this year. Let me know if that interests you. Um, but the last item from TJ Maxx is in this bag here. So TJ Maxx and Home Goods and all of those places, like I said, they haven't had a lot out right now. The West Coast does tend to be a bit more delayed in getting Halloween stuff out, but so far it's been pretty good, at least for Michaels and Joanne. Um, but this was from a section that I feel like they tend to do last, and it, it was in their pillows and blankets section. It's a blanket. And they only had like five or six blankets at the time. So you guys know when I see certain things, they're classic and they fit into Harry Potter easily. Um, this is one of them. I got this skull blanket. So it is a black blanket. Um, it's oversized decorative throw, but it's more of a blanket. I don't know if you could see. It's a really nice, fuzzy, soft blanket. So we're kind of particular about our blankets, partly because of the cats, but also because of like washing them and certain ones, honestly, the ones I tend to really like, um, create a lot of like a mess and fuzz everywhere, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean? But there's a lot of spacing, this pretty good size skull. It's kind of, it's basically like that poison look. So it does give me potion vibes. And then the other cool thing, other than like how soft it is, cause that is important to me, is it is reversible. So you can just like, I'd probably have the black side exposed more, but I like that you could just like pull it back a little bit and you have another little something going on. Do I have a school blanket already? I'm pretty sure. I think it's a throw, like a thin throw, but all of that's packed away. So how am I to know? I gotta just get it. And the prices at TJ Maxx aren't too bad. This one is $24.99 and it's a pretty good size blanket. Um, and we don't need too many blankets, but a couple more doesn't hurt anybody, right? Oh, and right. It is also 100% recycled polyester. Yes, please. I wasn't expecting that at TJ Maxx. Um, but honestly, the first thing for me is just like, it needs to be super soft. But yeah, so that is the last item of this Harry Potter, what are we calling it? Spooky Harry Potter Halloween haul from all the places. This will not be the last. This is obviously our second one. Um, I will keep going out. Let me know if you want me to share those places. I just want to give you guys good stuff, okay? I don't want to waste your time. Um, and, you know, be looking for things that fit into a Harry Potter Halloween, I feel like, or at least the way that I do it. Um, and if, yeah, if you want a video on like, let's sit and chat about ideas for this year, I'd love to know your ideas. What are you doing for your Halloween? Is yours a Harry Potter? What kind of items are you looking for? I'd love to chat with you in the comments down below. But until next time, my magical friends, Remember to love what you love with everything you have. Get the glitter off your hands and keep making magic. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Glitter is everywhere.